Your first name, please, sir? Matthew. Uh, spell, please? M-A-T-T-H-E-W. And Strand? Strand, S-T-R-A-N-D. And you're a company commander? I'm a company commander, Charlie Company 218. How was uh, Charlie Company selected, sir? Uh, we were selected because we're the best company in the 170th Infantry Brigade Combat Team, um, working the hardest at gunnery, and we got a good company ready to go to Russia. Did you compete with the other companies? Or? No, no competition. It was something that uh, was pushed down into the 170th, and we were chosen, so now we're going. Good. And how do you feel about that, sir? We're very excited. We've been working a lot of hours doing our gunnery out in Grafenvir for the past 30 days, and we're ready to go and get to do our job in Moscow. And what are some of the things that you did to... Um, or are doing to prepare for this mission? Uh, we, we've rehearsed uh, some marching. Obviously we had to basically buy the whole company new uniforms because typically the not every soldier will wear the Army Service uniform but everyone in our company has it. Um, a lot of our preparation has been very short just because we've been in gunnery for the past month so we're doing what we can and we'll be ready to go on May 9th when the parade happens. Um, let's see, uh, I'm not super familiar with the company's history but uh, the comp in uh, during World War II uh, Charlie Company was uh, fought in the European theater during the war, right, sir? Yes. And uh, where did uh, where did the company uh, finish up at the end of the war? Where did the company finish up at the end of the war? Yes, sir. Well, it would have been a completely different unit just oh. because we have been reflagged. We're a brand new unit that uh, has come back in July okay. of 2009. So uh, Charlie Company 218 is, uh, for the most part, new as of July 2009. Okay. I was trying to grab the old historical reference. Sorry. But speaking of history, sir, uh, how does it feel to be making history? feels pretty good. Uh, it's good for me, but more important, it's good for the soldiers, the young and the new, uh, young and the old. So I'm looking forward to the new privates going and set, making history in their first month in the Army. And it's also a good chance for the guys that are getting out of the Army to see something real big before they move on. Um, have you had uh, maybe a father, uh, grandfather or a uh, member of your family uh, served during World War II? Only one person in my whole family has been in the military. My grandfather was in the Army Air Corps, and uh, he was a pilot. And during World War II. In European theater? Or? Roger. And what do you think he would think about you going to He's very proud of me right now. Uh, oh, uh, did you talk to him? I, I've told him, of course. I mean, I'm very in touch with my family back in South Dakota and Colorado. Roger. And uh, yeah, of course, everyone's very proud of me. I'm the only individual in my family in the military right now. So whatever I do, they're pretty happy about. Good. And what did you, how did you uh, tell them about this mission to Moscow? Basically, just a rundown of all the the busyness I've had the past few months with training for 35 days in Homefels and 35 days in Graf and oh yeah by the way I have to go to Moscow with my company to uh, make history for Americans and Russians. And how did they react sir? Uh, really no reaction just the same reaction I get whenever I tell them I'm going somewhere for training have a good time and you know I'm, we're proud of you. And uh, what do you hope your soldiers learn from this mission? I hope they just learn that you know it's a joint mission, just like when we go to Afghanistan or Iraq. It's not just the Americans working by themselves. It's Americans working with other forces from around the world. So this is our first chance before we move off to our next deployment, whenever that is, to work with another country. And, uh, what is some of the, if you have an opportunity to meet uh, a Russian infantry captain, what do you think some of the things that you and he might talk about? Uh, I don't know. I think right off the bat, it would just be nice to meet somebody that has the same level as me uh, as a company commander. Uh, basically see what he does to train his company for combat and train different training exercises. Uh, but I I'd also be interested to know how long he would stay a company commander and you know what he's done to become a company commander and what's next for him. Kind of swap uh, professional? Yes, sir. And, um, let's see, uh, oh, I forgot. Your hometown is? Uh, My hometown is Roslyn, South Dakota, a small town in the Midwest. Oh.